Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Hacker Stacker channel. When it comes to buying your silver, you've got lots of options. There's online dealers, there's local coin stores, there's even face-to-face -face or peer-to-peer. -peer. But I want to go over the advantages of your local coin store or your local coin shop, commonly referred to as an LCS. Now I'm fortunate enough to have three shops near me, and I purchase from all of them on a regular basis. I understand that some of you may not have even one bullion and coin dealer near you. It might be the better part of a day for you to go to one, peruse their offerings, make your choice, complete your purchase, and get home. Perhaps when you travel for work or leisure, you are near a store at your destination or while you're traveling, it's along the route and have the opportunity to visit one. Or you have a trusted family member or friend who does live near an LCS who can make your purchases for you. The biggest advantage to an LCS is you're able to examine your purchase. You will be able to hold it, look at it, check it out, make sure this is what you want to purchase before spending your money. No amount of words in a description and skilled photography on a web page is ever going to be able to duplicate that. When you let someone on the staff at your LCS know what you're going to pay for, there's no chance of getting an error. Meaning, you're not going to walk into a store and say, I want these Krugerrands, and you take them to the cashier, and they ring you up, and they put them in a package, and you get home, and you've got kangaroos. The only way that mistake is going to get made is if you accidentally take the kangaroos to the cashier. So that mistake would be on you. When you shop locally, there's no shipping charges. True, many online sellers have a minimum order to qualify for free shipping, but the cost of shipping will be included in your price of silver. The online dealer has to pay for shipping, and that cost gets rolled into the premium. Also, some people's budgets may not allow them to buy that minimum amount of silver to reach free shipping. Shopping in an LCS eliminates this. You can walk in, purchase even just one dime, and you don't have to worry about shipping. Plus, when you buy locally, you don't have to worry about your shipped package getting lost or stolen in transit. People, I appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos, so be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe and hit that bell to get notifications on new content because it's your support that will continue to grow this channel. Whenever you purchase silver from an online dealer, or any precious metal for that matter, you must surrender your personal information to that online dealer. This is usually done by creating an account. You enter your name, address, phone number, email, etc., and that is recorded on the online seller's computer system, on their server. It's there. But in a brick and mortar store, you can have complete anonymity. Paying with cash, none of your personal information can be compromised either by the feds who want to come in and check those records or by hackers. It's all completely anonymous. If you're looking for niche, artistic, or even locally produced silver products, LCSs are the place to go. Online dealers buy stuff like this by the truckload and rarely have the unusual and small production pieces. But every trip I take to a local store, I see bars and rounds that I've never seen before. Legacy, discontinued, collectible, locally poured artisan bars and pieces from mints that have closed are usually found locally. Many online dealers don't deal with culls or seconds. But a lot of the bullion I purchase locally is exactly that. Buying coals or seconds is a great way to add weight for a lower cost. It's rare that I visit a local store and they don't have coal bullion and coins. But coals are something online dealers may not have available. In fact, every single one of my silver eagles is a coal or a second. I have never purchased an American eagle for my stack new. When you purchase online, you usually won't even interact with a human being. 
You decide what you want from the website, put it in your cart, check out, and your order is shipped to you. And the only person involved is probably the ones in the warehouse who take your order, pull it, put it in the package, slap a label on it, and get it ready to go. But you have no interaction with that person. At an LCS, you have that personal touch as you're dealing with an actual human and not a cold, emotionless website. When shopping locally, you keep your money local. Some of the money that you spend is given to the staff in forms of wages and salaries, and that money will be spent locally again at the grocery store, the gas station, the hairdressers and barbers, laundromats and dry cleaners, pet stores, restaurants, on down the line. The people at your local store are going to be a huge asset for you. If you're a regular customer, the staff will probably recognize you and know what you're there for. And in some cases, an employee can help you better obtain what you're after. For instance, they can order something if they don't have it in stock. Also, if you're after a type of silver that's particularly difficult for you to secure because it's wildly popular, they may order a large amount of it, and then when it comes in, they can take that and hold back what you were looking for so you have a chance to come in and pick it up later, something you're not going to be able to do at an online dealer. Another advantage of the people at the LCS is they are there to help answer your questions. True, online dealers will have an 800 number you can call, but the personal exchange you get from being face-to-face -face with somebody in the business at a brick-and-mortar store, I can't tell you how advantageous that can be. Another confusing issue is sales tax. While most states in the U.S. don't charge sales tax on coins and bullions, a few do. And people who live in the states that do charge sales tax usually believe that there's no sales tax due for an order made online sent to them from another state. However, this is for the most part untrue. Sales tax likely is due by your local statute on those purchases. And if the dealer doesn't collect them, you are likely to required by the state's sales tax law to self-report and remit the sales tax. However, most online dealers know what states collect sales tax and thus collect it as part of the sale and remit it to the state as the law requires. This whole thing becomes a non-issue at an LCS. Most LCSs not only sell precious metals, but they also buy them. Now, if you're thinking about selling part of your stack to an online dealer, it can be a tedious and time-consuming prospect. First, you need to ship it to them. And shipping can get expensive because, well, precious metals are dense and heavy. Then you have to wait for your package to arrive, the dealer to look at what you have, test it, appraise it, and make an offer. And then what happens if you don't accept the offer? At an LCS, that entire process can be less time than having lunch at the Golden Arches. Suppose you are new to stacking precious metals, and you want to verify the authenticity of some questionable precious metals you have. Maybe you've been gifted something, or you've inherited something. Is it real, or is it fake? A quick trip to the LCS, they'll be happy to check it out for you. Shipping it off to an online dealer is likely going to be an exercise in frustration. And finally, what about price? Aren't brick and mortar stores always more expensive? Most people assume online stores will be cheaper. This is simply not true in all cases. Just like online sellers, local stores can have deals, sales, promotions. And honestly, the last trip to an LCS, I spent almost $400 on junk silver. And it worked out that I paid $1.55 per ounce premium. Try finding that at an online dealer. The only time I purchase online is to get coins and bullions I simply cannot find locally. True, some brick and mortar stores are high priced. After all, there's only a limited number of stores and somebody has to be the highest price. But just as they are free to set their own prices, you and I are free to spend our money elsewhere. So these are just some of the reasons I've come up with to get you to understand maybe an LCS is a place to go. 
Maybe it isn't, but at least look into finding a local store and if they're honest and their prices are good, you've got a winner. Until then, keep on stacking and I'll see you in the next video.